They're here to talk to you from International Students Association about the Clark World Cup and the International Journey, which are October upcoming events. So, go ahead. Yep. Um, my name is Vika Grendel. I am on the publicity side of the executive board. Hi, I'm Shamali. I'm the treasurer of International Students Association. All right, so why don't you tell us about the upcoming events? All right, so one of the events that I say has coming up in October is Clark World Cup and that is basically simulating the real World Cup and we're going to have different different countries competing against each other. It's going to be held in the Dolan Field. It's going to be really fun. There's going to be lots of food there, fun activities on the side. Um, you're going to be able to root for your favorite team members or your favorite country or whichever, whoever you want to root for. And basically it's going to be about 10 to 15 people per team and there's going to be several fields playing at the same time, so you can jump back and forth between the different games and watch whatever you want to watch, and it's going to be a really good time. Yeah. And the International Journey is a food festival on campus. It's held in Tilton Hall. Different countries have their booth set up with their flag and their costume, and they can cook whatever they want. We give them a budget of $50, so they can pretty much do whatever they want to do with that money and represent their country in the right way. We do this event because we want to spread awareness about different cultures and different food, different dressing style in the world, because we, I mean, Clark is known for diversity, so we want to make the best use of it. If you want to get involved in International Journey, we uh, have a general interest meeting coming up. You can just show up and um, write down your email address. We'll contact you back. Okay, that's awesome. And is it posted on it links, the general interest meeting, so people can know the dates? Okay, perfect. So for those who have not heard of ISA, what are you guys known for? Well, ISA is really all about celebrating diversity and bringing everyone from different cultures together. I mean, I say itself is like a giant family. We kind of want to incorporate that into Clark and have everyone from all these different backgrounds come together and it, like express all of the different sides of them and their backgrounds and like how that all relates relates to each other and like creates a big Clark world community. That's great. What other events are you known for? <laughs> uh, we have Euphoria and International Gala, Journey, and Fort Cup our our main events. We also co-sponsor with other student clubs to have other programs on campus. Okay. Now how would somebody get involved if they wanted to after this interview? Well if someone wants to get involved with World Cup, we haven't set a date for that. It's gonna be in October but we don't know the specifics about it yet. And when we do we're gonna create most likely a Facebook page and you guys will know about that if you're interested in it and you can go onto this Facebook page and just post right on right on the page like what team you want to be a member of, like an email address, and people will get in contact with you. And Club Club Soccer will be the group that organizes it and gets everyone together. Okay, awesome. So when you guys are sophomores now, right? Yes. Okay. So what made you get involved last year? Um, I am an international student. I'm from India, so that's why I joined ISA initially. But then I figured out that. Not everyone is international, and I think that makes it more diverse because it's a club for everyone who wants to learn about diversity. It's a family, so yeah, that, I love I say. Mm -hmm. That's good. I was born in Russia, but I've lived in the U.S. for 15 years now, I think. So I, I come from an international background, but I'm not familiar with it at all, so I kind of wanted to get more involved and like meet people from different countries and just kind of like see what's going on around the world. <laughs> So thank you, Vegan Charlie, for coming on board. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. I'm afraid of scarlet because I'm falling in love and I am not ready to die.